Guys, what's going on? This is Dave Tilly. I'm here with Dan Pope. Uh, we are down at the wonderful CrossFit Clue in New Jersey doing a Power Monkey Intensive Camp, and uh, we figured this is a great opportunity to film our next blog post for our article series on shoulder pain in CrossFit athletes. So we've talked about some assessments, some mobility work, and something that we think is super important that I think a lot of people just mess out on. It's just kind of some baseline rotator cuff strength and uh, strength balance of pushing this plane to pulling in this plane, as well as balancing overhead. CrossFit has a ton of uh, push-ups, burpees, things in this plane, a ton of overhead volume of pressing or pull-ups or things that require pulling down like rope climbs, muscle-ups, and besides uh, an erg row, you know, or a bent-over barbell row, there's not a ton of volume in the pulling department. So if your cuff gets weak compared to how strong the other big muscles are, and if you don't have balance in the upper body, uh, we see a lot of people who lose limited overhead flexibility over time, uh, slowly get stiffer, or they just start to get cranky shoulders because they can't handle the volume. So strength is the foundation first. Not good? I agree, man. Cool. It's big. So Dan's gonna start over here. He's gonna start with the dumbbells. First one we're gonna do is five exercises we pretty much give to every CrossFit athlete, beginner to advance to elite just because how much shoulder volume they have. So these are just basic rotator cuff strength exercises, super boring, but two sets of 10 of all these. So he'll just show five. So sideline ER, elbow tucked in, trying to use the scap a little bit, right? Just super easy and basic, posterior rotator cuff strength, right? And then he's gonna go on his stomach. He's gonna do a Y first. So stomach, head's gonna turn towards the left to slack the upper trap. He's gonna bring his arm up in a Y just to get lower trap, middle trap. The isolation exercises are okay in this department to get some hypertrophy, right? And then T out to the side. Good, perfect. Right, and you notice he has a 10 pound weight. We want him to be working pretty hard. We're trying to go in a rep range that's pushing hypertrophy of the cuff. So we want to build strength, build endurance. Sometimes there's a uh, miscommunication about the weight that they're smaller stabilizing muscles, but they have to grow. Just like you would do a squat cycle at 80%, same things here, slowly increasing weight. And then a U is this one. So row, external rotation. Perfect, right? All these are just really good research EMG studies uh, from Mike Ronald and some other friends that have really good EMG data behind middle trap, lower trap, the scat muscles themselves. That's what we're trying to focus on. If you do it right, you feel like you're on fire back here. Okay, so those, then standing, last one for the cuff, the super spinatus, we're going full can. So Dan's got two weights now. He's gonna stand, he's gonna bring his arms up and scaption plane to about shoulder height, and he's trying to reach kind of up and around the corner just a little bit, right? Very commonly injured muscle, when it gets pinched a lot, or if it doesn't have good stability or endurance for strength, it will kind of get tugged on, maybe some issues come up with cuff irritation, things like that, okay? But just five super basic cuff exercises that we feel we're going to do twice per week. We prescribe them to pretty much everybody. And then the other exercises we'll show you over here. Okay, so again, we're trying to do a little bit of strength in the pulling plane. So not so much of close lat rows. People do ring rows, which are okay. We're trying to think a little bit wider, a little bit more middle trap, little scaps. So in a push-up position, we're going to go renegade rows. So hips are flat. Dan's just rowing unilaterally up to his chest and then back, back down. Okay? Very easy, you wanna make sure your hips are flat. That's one, the other one that we like to do a lot, this is probably our go-to exercise, our feet elevated rows. So the opposite of a push-up. So he's gonna go feet up on the box here. Right, he's gonna go hips are tight, hips are tucked, and he's rowing elbows wide, touching his chest. Okay, you can make this easier if you want by pulling the box in and putting them behind your knees so the lever's shorter. You can make it harder by putting weight on the chest, weight vest, plate, anything like that. But aim for about three to four sets of 10-ish. Start 12, you can change your reps, and just try to get this stuff in about two times per week.